What do you mean you're not ready? I'm never ready. <laughs> we could look. Look, we've... Christy, you only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity is once in a lifetime. You only get one shot. Bloody hell, this is a terrible bar. Let's move. <laughs> 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 Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you had spoilers last episode, and spoilers, this episode also has spoilers. Spoilers! Spoilers. 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 I hate you. Well, that's something we can't overcome in this episode, because this episode is the long-awaited sequel, Jurassic World Special Sequel Special. So, are we actually just recording a new episode right now, or are we just going to record, like, a bonus bit to the last episode about the man you met in the toilet? No, 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 this is... <laughs> no, that's right, spunk the, uh, spunk the surprise up the wall, why don't you? Bloody it's hell. not much of a bloody surprise. Not now, no. Well, now. I suppose I could edit it out, but that feels cheaty. So... I'll be honest with you, we listened back to the previous episode and spotted something. Uh, we didn't talk that much about Jurassic World. say spotted, we couldn't actually see it because it was an audio file. Well, yeah, it was an audio file. Right, it was an audio file. Well, it still is an audio file. But it's still there, you know. Uh, you can download it now. It's literally right behind the current one. What? No, no, no. It's, uh, now we're talking to them. They're listening to this after previously listening to the previous. Oh, I see. Well, Hello be... and welcome back. I'll be honest with you. I, I don't say... know what you're still doing here. <laughs> Maybe this is the first time you've tuned in and you don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> or even if you've heard every episode up till now, you still won't know what the fuck we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Deary me. Right. We, um, so we made a mistake. We called it the long-awaited sequel, um, what the fuck it's called? Jurassic, Jurassic World, World Special. Special. That's what I said. And then we didn't talk much about Jurassic World. We got sidetracked by Mr. Bean, Dickie Attenborough, House, is it Merlin? Yeah, basically everything. We recorded this literally half an hour ago. We can't remember what we talked about. Well, I wasn't really listening, if I'm honest with you. They're not listening. I've told you. Background listening. Well, of course they're not bloody listening. They're list- They're <laughs> rather not listening to us. Well, exactly. Although I do think that what... You know what we were saying about the CCTV last episode? Yeah. I do like the idea that someone is just listening to this and watching some, some footage and is trying to hopefully make the faces and the audio sync up in a meaningful way. <laughs> I do. So like it, that. it looks like the the two guys like nicking the the pasta flakes on aisle three. <laughs> yeah, the pasta flakes. Uh, they're nicking on, the pasta on aisle three, and they're but they're also having a conversation about inane bollocks. <laughs> well, no, that's the thing. I was going, quick, Dave, put it in your bag. He's not looking now. Why am I saying Dave and then bag? Well, I suppose Dave could carry a handbag, but uh, let's, let's, or, or Gwen. Let's mix it up a bit. So it could Why are we in Wales? All right. Well, you can't with a, a woman's name. Stacy. Stacy. <sighs> That's not a Welsh name. No, it's not a Welsh name. Fine. Okay. Well, unless you've watched Gavin and Stacy. I have watched Gavin. And Stacey. Yeah, Stacy's the Welsh one, isn't she? Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, I, I was just thinking, isn't Stacy the one from Essex? No, no, Stacy's the Welsh one. Gavin is the one from Essex. Jenny. That's an outdated name. But there we go. Yeah. All right. Quick, Jenny. Put it. Uh, Dad, Jenny sounds posh. Why would she be needing a shop? Yeah, with? true. So we're looking for like a, a <laughs> British white trash name. A British that isn't word. that isn't Welsh. <laughs> right, that well done. Because now whatever we say, they're gonna be offended somewhere. Yep. <laughs> well done. All right, Mr. Clarkson. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> okay, Mr. Clarkson, put it in the bag. Yeah, we could be the next host of Top Gear. Yeah, we'd be great hosts of yeah, a, a Top I Gear. I don't like. I don't know anything about cars for a uh, start. Uh, yeah, so uh, BBC. If you're listening, if you work at the BBC and for some reason are, are looking for like people to hire. Sure, I'll work for you. I'll work for you as well, for a large amount of money, please. No, I'll do it for a small amount of money. Uh, Any amount of money I'll do it for do. less than him. I'll do, it for, I'll do everything he will, but for a five or less. God, now we sound like two prostitutes on a street corner. I'll do everything he does, Gav, but for a five or less. I don't, that's not a voice that's going to get any attention, that, <laughs> is it? Flip it out. Well, especially not attached to your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, darling. That's not a woman's voice. That's not even that's a woman's not voice. Even close to a woman's voice. Hello. No, still not there. No. So, Sunsy, <laughs> Jurassic what? World. It was okay. I mean, the science was... The science was bad. Very, very bad. The science was more questionable than a big pharmaceutical company saying it does its work to help people. Yeah. 
it was yeah that was a good comparison thank you I, I got it off a of great comparison website <laughs> fucking hell <laughs> why <laughs> Why? Because I couldn't come up with something that good by myself, so I just anyway, went on. The science was was pretty bad. The, the plot was basically non-existent. Well, no, no, no. That's Mad Max. I've heard the plot being non-existent. Yeah, the thing is, Mad Max was quite enjoyable to watch. You do not enjoy the film? I suppose I did. I mean, it had dinosaurs. Spoilers. We should probably put another spoiler warning in. Oh yeah. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you had spoilers last episode, and spoilers. This episode also has spoilers. So spoilers. 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 Quite a lot of people died. Inclu- yes. Including, importantly, the actress that played Morgana in Merlin. The- <laughs> I was extremely disappointed. Anyway. The worrying thing is... But nobody reacted. People died, and they just kind of went... Like, it wasn't oh, yeah. that they didn't notice. Yeah, that was it. Like, yeah. they would just watch, like... Oh. Right, yeah. they had a SWAT-style SWAT, a, like, SWAT style team going out to chase a dinosaur down. And they got guns, and they also had, like, monitors, so that back at base on the big screen, they could see the heart rate and things like that. And they just watched as this dinosaur killed... Person after person, so uh, flat lines just appeared across the screen. And everyone just went, "Oh shit, um, that's well, a that's bit unfortunate." A bit problem, but like, even like, you could just about chalk that up to it being like slightly un- impersonal, like looking at someone's vitals on a monitor rather than like actually being there. But there was points where people just died in front of other people, like, yeah. and they just didn't react at all. It was awful. Well, yeah, but I mean, to be fair, you did show me one of the scenes where you thought they looked pretty wooden and it turned out to be a shot of the jungle so i mean i can't trust your opinion yours. <laughs> i can't trust your op- yours. <laughs> i can't trust your opinion on this but uh yeah i mean i like the dinosaurs another thing was that like they the indominus rex as they called it oh yeah the genetically claim, modified claims rex. claimed to be mostly t-rex but with some other things and halfway through it was revealed that some of those other things were cuttlefish and frogs which we used to explain it away its ability to camouflage itself in jungle. And from heat. It could yeah, hide from heat. And to hide from heat sensors. Uh, and this was all well and good. And then they went, oh, well, we better send the raptors in to chase it. And it turned out at this point that Indominus Rex was also apparently a large part raptor, which was all well and good, except for the fact that none of these people who have apparently been working with dinosaurs for a large portion of their life noticed that the fucking thing looked more like a velociraptor than it did a T Rex. Nobody went, hmm. Do you think maybe it's part raptor? Look, Sudsy, you're a bioscientist. I looked at it and I did not go, well, I'll tell you what, Dave. Uh, I reckon it looks a lot like a raptor. I reckon that will be an important plot point later in the show. Well, I, Let's I, stay tuned. Right, so Jurassic Park has always been a little bit velociraptor fixated. So I suspected that maybe the fact it looked quite a lot like a velociraptor might come up later. I was right. All right, show off. Anyway... You, like, the, you, the the viewer may not be a bioscientist. <laughs> the viewer, the one guy. Yeah, <laughs> but like the the main character who's apparently like dedicated his life to working with these velociraptors and like the the people who own the company. But he was twenty times the size of a velociraptor. It still looked very much like it. Looked, honestly, it looked more like a velociraptor than a T Rex. Right, but it was also white and killing people, right? Like a lot of people in America I mean, these days. <laughs> Oh, topical. <laughs> Bloody hell. Burn. Oh. <laughs> Apply ice to the injured area. In this case, America. <laughs> the <laughs> whole just, thing. Yeah, just drop bits of the Antarctic. On the... <laughs> I think you've got it the, back, the other way around. We're, we're trying to drop more ice on the Antarctic. It's <laughs> melting. Right. Well, I've helped out with that because I keep my freezer running flat out to make ice cubes. I love the idea <laughs> that uh, if perhaps we live near the sea... Uh, you might be running your freezer just like making like trays of ice cubes and all you have to do is <laughs> dropping them in the sea. Like, I'm solving all the problems. Yeah, look, I know I know it's not much. Basically it's a drop in the ocean. But <laughs> fuck oh. help out. Oh. oh, I do enjoy how pained you look. Oh. Anyway, the point is we went to the cinema and watched this and uh, we saw the film and we went out after I you know, had one of those massive, massive cinema sized drinks. And uh, went, nipped to the loo. And in the loo were two old men chatting. And uh, they were, you know, reasonably posh. Reasonably posh. Um, but, so I just, you know, went about my business, as it were, or as it was. Uh, Christy, that, that makes it sound a little bit like you might not have just been going for a wee. Yeah, I went for the Nintendo P. <laughs> I hate you. Why? Anyway, there they were, talking. And so they were just chatting away. I presume they knew each other. But not that well because he goes, "All right, so, uh, so, uh, how old's yours then?" Right. 
And the other one went, oh, a couple of years younger than me, you know. And so I think, what the hell are they talking about? They go, oh, yeah, really? Well, I've always said the wife should be older. And I was like, ah, I've narrowed it down now. They're talking about their wife's ages. You know, uh, you know, I reckon there should be five years difference. And the other one went, oh, yeah, it's five years. Younger, you mean? He went, no, 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 older. Because the other guy had obviously missed him saying older. He went, no, 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 I think the woman should be older, about five years or so. Then why is that? Yeah, well, you know, uh, <clears throat> women last longer than men, don't they? About right. five years. Well, Jesus, <laughs> if you're not very good at it, sure. Oh, my God. But, no, I just love the idea. It's just, oh, yes, I, I don't want my wife living past when I'm gone for a long time. Dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. What the hell? Maybe, maybe he doesn't want his soon-to-be ex-wife being lonely. Well... I mean, yeah, but there's just like, well, I love her, but unfortunately she's the same age I am, which means she'll outlive me by five years on average. I can't allow that. Can't allow this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Cutting off the wedding. I'm going to go for this older lady I hate because on, the, on, on paper it works out better. <laughs> old people are weird. Old people. Well, they weren't. They absolutely, posh people are weird. Posh old people are extremely weird. Well, yeah, look at the Queen. <laughs> you can't say she's standard, can you? <laughs> well, no, she's ruling England for one thing. That's pretty weird. How many people do you know who ruled England? Well, I mean, I don't I know. I say the Queen rules England. Uh, she doesn't. No, <laughs> no. It, it is essentially an honorary title at this point. Well, you say that, but come on. I think more people back the Queen than they would David Cameron. Well, that's true, but only because David Cameron's a moron. I reckon we would back the Queen charging into Scotland and reinvading. Oh on horseback. On horseback. Yeah. Her, the queen the on 80, horseback. The 89 year old lady going, Right, everyone, let's bloody get them. Doodly doo. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, like, does the queen actually have any power anymore? She does a lot. She does a lot more than everyone thinks she does. And if everyone knew how much she did, she'd probably get kicked off as being, we would get rid of the monarchy. So it's probably best that people don't know. So you're not going to tell me? Uh, no. Uh, she has no power. Uh, I, as the official royal spokesman, uh, tell you she has no power and just spends her days twiddling her thumbs and uh, throwing darts at the Duke of Edinburgh's nose when he's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> what an image! <laughs> so, overall review of Jurassic World? Uh, I'll give it 7 out of 10. Maybe 6. 6.5. 6.5 six six and and out of 10. Right. It was it was okay. I don't regret going to see it. I'm not sure I'd ever pay to go and see it again. If and when it crops up on Netflix, I might watch it as part of a group of people for something to do. Right. I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. Because it's the first film rating I've given. And that gives it a boost of at least 3 points. <laughs> because, uh, so you're saying you'd actually give it a 5 out of 10? Well, I've artificially lowered it because I've got to compensate for the three points Fuck it gets. <laughs> so, so it'll, pro- it'll probably get around a six or a seven out of ten. Probably a six out of ten from me. Um, but I wanted to lower it a bit because otherwise nine out of ten people might go and see it, right? Whereas eight out of ten sounds pretty good, but only this good enough... This is the problem with re- review scores, though. Like, no one likes giving a review of like less than five out of ten. Like, it could be like The Room and you'd still give it five out of ten. Oh, no, I love The Room. The room's fucking amazing. But, like, objectively, it's shite. Well, it's hilarious, but not because it's supposed to be. Well, no, but if you look at everything that's supposed to be, you're supposed to be intelligent, and that's hilarious. Hey, I have a degree. Yes, well, set up. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you have a degree and I don't. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, let's bring up the news then, shall we? We've done the review. Okay. Right, we've got news. Can I read out this one? Yes. Scarecrow dressed as policeman falls and annoys motorists. Let's not bother looking at the rest of the story yet, right? Let's just look at that title. Who has a scarecrow is step one. Who has got access to spare police okay, clothes? Okay, so, so fun story. In the village I live in, in Somerset, when I'm not here, uh, undisclosed location. Yes. Um... Uh, we have like every year we have like a scarecrow festival. Obviously, I don't live there anymore, so Wait. everyone just has scarecrows out on their front drive. So you drive through undisclosed location where I live, and it's it's creepy because there's fucking scarecrows everywhere. The worst thing is, of course, uh, Sudsy just sat on the front step and managed to win first prize. Oh, <laughs> 
But complaints by motorists who felt tripped by the figure resulted in real police officers having to investigate the fake how can colleague. You, how can you complain if you see a policeman standing and pointing? I think whoever complained about the scarecrow might have been travelling a bit too fast down the road, got in a fright and realised it was a scarecrow. And so what they're doing is going, I'm really pissed off. I was doing 50 down the high street and I had to slow down to the speed limit. They realised it wasn't even going to get fined for yeah, exactly. it. How can you complain? To, who do you complain to? Oh, yeah, I was breaking the law, and it turned out I wasn't being caught for it. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah. I was hoping to get a speeding ticket well, because I, was... I like meeting the policeman. <laughs> Maybe it's just uniform dating. <laughs> <laughs> the so, people so... stopped, tried to chat him up, and then after 20 minutes thought, he's not the strong silent type, he's a fucking scarecrow. <laughs> so, fun, fun story. I used to work as a lifeguard at a local private school, and once I actually had the job, uh, I was given a uniform. And uh, my, my manager at the time gave me the uniform and he looked at me and said, Right, now you apply one of those uniform dating websites. And I'm kind of sat there like, How desperate do I look? Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Sudsy, looking at you now. Age well, obviously, 20... now, three years on, I am quite desperate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just saw into the future. He looked at you and. Like saw... a little temporal loophole opened up. Anyway. Yeah, sad... I, should, I should probably just advise him and hope for the best. <laughs> just a sad, lonely future for you and thought, I'll do my best to head it off for him now. And you went, huh, fuck you, mate. I know what I'm doing. And three years on, you cry yourself to sleep at night. Yeah. This part has been deleted for emotional reasons. Oh, my, myself. oh my God, no. Oh, you've driven away our last listener. Uh, and that was me. <laughs> 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 Let's not kid ourselves. It's been just you for the last couple of episodes. <laughs> Which is worrying because both of us recorded them. Yeah. Even you can be asked. I forced myself through it. Oh, Christ. <laughs> right. Well, the, that's the end of that news story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, went off topic a bit. <laughs> uh, uh, here's another one for you Postman too frightened across the road to deliver mail. A country road, I should point out. Take me home. <laughs> Twitter, please. I belong. West Virginia. Okay, I'm glad we got that over with. Yes. Back to the action. <laughs> so back to the action of a policeman not crossing the Postman. road. Postman. 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 Oh, no. No, no, no. Wait. Fuck this story. Fuck this. <laughs> Sorry. You'll Sorry. never know about this. Sorry. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Health and safety grounds, apparently. Um, you can't cross the road, blah, 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 etc. Here we go. Text walking lanes introduced in Antwerp, Belgium. It would be fucking Belgium, wouldn't it? <laughs> Finally, a solution for the most annoying people in the world, slow text walkers. Those are not the most annoying people in the world, because they at least sometimes trip and fall over. That's entertaining. Yeah, exactly. The most annoying people in the world are those mums who've got like 12 fucking... I don't even know how they managed to have that many babies in social space. <laughs> They've got like they've got like twelve baby things, and they're they're not only filling up like the pavement and a good portion of the road with these fucking things. They've also gone and found one of their fucking friends who's also got like six children of their bloody own, and they're having what the world's like slowest walk conversation. Anyway, they just fill up the entire bloody pavement, and like if you kind of make like slightly annoyed noises, all you get is like rude stares because oh they've got children and therefore they're superior to you. Right, Sudsy. I uh, I think you might not like children. What makes you say that? <laughs> oh, fuck! It's a fucking baby! And when you've got a baby, you can't walk as fast as when you don't have a baby! It's not it's bloody they, ridiculous! You can! That's, the, that's my point. You can. They just choose not to because they're having a fucking conversation with their fucking friends about their fucking babies! Sudsy, how many times have we had conversations walking up the road? To be fair, we do get out of people's way. Exactly! But, but uh, this, this reminds me of something else. There's a charity. So let me just look this up. We'll be right back. Allow me to use this small break in recording to advertise the long-awaited sequel. Available on iTunes and on YouTube now. That's right, we advertise within our own show. But we're not going to pay anyone else to do it for us. Thanks for listening. Back to the recording. Uh, yeah. This is it. I remember this from years ago. A charity in London, this was, wrapped lampposts wrapped lamp with pillows to prevent people whacking their heads on them. Look or at texting. the picture! The pillow isn't even fucking head height! Well, it's to prevent sort of... I don't know, actually. Yeah, it's a point. 
But uh, so right. not only is this a terrible idea, and we should just in fact remove the sort of person that walks into a lamppost because they're too busy looking at their bloody phone what? from the gene pool. Holy shit! Wait, wait. One in ten careless Brits have suffered a walk and text street injury in the past year. And 6.6 .6 million accidents have caused injuries, ranging from mild knocks and embarrassing cuts and bruises, to broken noses, cheekbones, and even a fractured skull. How fucking fast do you walk? I know. Do you fracture your goddamn skull? Exactly! What were they doing? What are the bloody hell are lampposts in London made of? <laughs> platinum? Oh wait, platinum's really soft. Fuck. Diamond? You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Although the streets are paved with gold, apparently. Bollocks. <laughs> well, they seem to be. Look, I've been to London. They're paved with chewing gum and chicken shit. <laughs> chicken <laughs> shit? Pigeon shit. <laughs> I reckon they must be paved with gold. Otherwise, why would they keep digging them up? It's just... Well played, Thank sir. you, sir. Yes. I think that trumps you, sir. <laughs> and, yes, it's a full house to Christie on the joke front. Yeah, I think I... But I, I'm very pleased. Yeah. <laughs> Let's focus on what it says. Brick lanes were made the country's first safe tech street with brightly coloured padding similar to those used on rugby posts. Bloody hell. That's, that's not even that soft. If the trial is successful, which I'm guessing it was because it's back in 2008, it could be rolled out to other London black spots. Black spots? Oh, yeah, it's an accident black spot. Three people got a headache there last week alone. This the blame country. was placed. The blame was placed on the large amount of street furniture. Not on the people not looking where they're bloody going. Such as lampposts and bins and street furniture. Right, very much. A, lo a growing number of pedestrians attracted by the area's curry houses and bars. Well, let's be honest, this is the Daily Mail. They had to try and find a way to complain about immigrants uh, somehow. Uh, what, curry houses? Yeah, exactly. The Brit curry is British. It doesn't matter. This is the Daily Mail. They'll try and complain about immigrants using it. I don't... I think it might just be that it happened near some curry houses. Probably. I I'm going to take a more innocent interpretation than you. So, uh, yeah, so that's the mobile phone news, effectively. Yeah. That we managed that. How the fuck Pillows on lampposts and a text while walking lane. Not, look where you're fucking going, you pricks. Allowances for these morons. <laughs> I don't get how you're not mayor of London, Sudsy. Look, you look. pricks, vote for me. I'm better than you. We, we don't give in to the demands of terrorists, or in this case, morons. But look, most of the country is morons. Us yes. included. Yes. <laughs> exactly. So we want them to make concessions for morons. Just because we can look at other morons and say they're more moronic in a specific way than we are, we're still oblivious and stupid as we go through our lives. I, I do actually need to go to bed soon. I have to get up in the morning. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thanks for tuning in to the long-awaited sequel. Bye. Bye. I'm afraid there's no special little bit after the end music credits thing this week, so, well, this episode. So you've wasted your time, really. Ha <laughs> ha. Joke's on you.